Hey guys, Hutch here with the next Powercock War Recap. Let's take a look here. We had a pretty easy war against Pakistan, the country of Pakistan, I guess. Um, 80 to 55. I'll show you the results again. Um, we did leave some easy XP on the table, which uh, is a little disappointing, but it was such an easy war that everybody was just super laid back and, you know, um, we, we weren't too crazy about getting on these guys. We knew we were going to win a lot of rush bases, actually pretty much all rush bases uh, for these guys, and we knew we'd pull out this win pretty easily, so it was, it was really back, um, you know, a fun war. We're coming off of a tough loss. Um, it was really good to get out there and just kind of spank these guys down and, and kind of get back in the groove, so let's take a look. As you can see, the top two um, bases we didn't put any stars on, which lost us a little bit of XP, but that's fine. Um, you know, like I said, it was laid back. Everybody was just kind of doing their thing. We cleaned uh, everything down all nine in the, I think the first four or five hours of war. Um, tons of first hit triples. Um, I ended up tripling uh, their number seven there, but I'm not going to show that this war. I'm going to go start off with Slash's attack on number eight. Um, everything's going to kind of look like a bully this this war here because, like I said, there's a lot of rush bases. Uh, you can see here he goes with the, the queen walk into the not even Govajo, I don't think, or yeah, maybe he has a golem in the CC actually. Um, but he starts from the south here, creates a funnel with a minion, um, and just lets his queen go to work. I mean, that that max queen is gonna gonna do quite a bit of work on this base here, up that left hand side. Um, let's just see how this how this walk goes here. Gets a rage down. He's got two expos on him and some point defenses, so the rage needs to go down there to keep the queen alive. <coughs> And you can see the top right corner. He sends one hog in to pull the CC, and out come some minions. And uh, a couple, you know what, guys? A couple of our people had some trouble with minions uh, in the CC this war, and I think that's going to kind of be the, the thing you're going to see in CCs going forward, um, and, and at least decent, uh, decent high-level war play. It was actually interesting to see these guys have it in their ba in their uh, CCs, considering you can see those minions rock that queen. She actually almost dropped because she started walking again in the, and uh, got out front of the healers, but. Um, he takes out 25% 20, of his base basically with his queen, and now he's starting uh, the rest of his attack. He's got uh, one golem out of the CC. He's going to break in there, get his king going. And then uh, I like what he does here, actually. He drops an EQ on that, that T in the wall just to loosen it up, although it is you know kind of crappy walls. And then he sends the Valks in. He holds that jump for later on because he's going to need that, and that, that really helps with, um, with spell space as well. But... In go the Valks, uh, under Rage they're almost unstoppable, he's got a pre preset Rage already down. Um, now one thing about this base that's decent is it has higher up upgraded uh, Wizard Towers and also um, and Max Inferno so and Max Tesla, so it wasn't a hard base but it, it certainly wasn't a piece of cake, you know, being one of their top 10 all 10s on the map, but um, you can see Slash just steamrolls this thing here, um, you know, absolutely crushes it. He's got a uh, swag heal, it looks like. I'm not 100% sure if he drops or not. He probably does not. But uh, his BK goes down here. He's still got a full life golem. Oh, he does drop the heal for the uh, for the hogs. They get they get hit by a bomb, so it's actually pretty good that he does that. Keep them up for the cleanup. But, guys, this base is, is wrecked. Everything's done. All, all it is is the, the trash buildings here. And Slash absolutely wrecks it there with the, the Queen Walk Govajo. So, great, great hit, Slash. All right, let's take a look here. The next one we're going to show is going to be down a little bit further. I'm just trying to find it here again. I think is it the chubby one here? Yep. So chubby comes in with the uh, the queen walk, uh, Go Govajo as well, on an anti-3 Town Hall 9 layout. Not the worst layout I've ever seen. Um, uh, again, guys, it's, uh, it's going to look like a bully attack here because he's got you know 25, 28 heroes going against 13, 10. Um, you know, not, the point defense is pretty much town hall eight. Um, you get some more minions coming out of the clan castle, which again, surprising minions are are really the thing in the clan castle right now because uh, most people are using Valks on their attacks, Valks and Hogs, and uh, obviously they can't hit air. And then these types of attacks, you don't really bring too many troops. Short of maybe a few wizards and um, and the AQ that could take out air, so um, and then there he pulls, he gets the rest of the CC pull there, um, which is good actually because he's got another another uh, poison which he drops there on the rest of the CC, drops a couple wizards because those minions locked onto his healers, so 
that's going to help keep his AQ alive. Um, and he's just going uh, clockwise on this base here. And now he is going to start his uh, his Valks right from the bottom. And, and I actually love how he took max wall breakers in his CC here because I'm seeing that a lot more often. Um, you know, frees up some troop space. Also, with the Valks being 8 space, you have an odd number um, to put in a CC at, at that town hall level. So. Uh, Valks go in EQ to open up this entire base. What's left of it anyway, and the uh, the Valks and, and the back end hogs do work. And and um, with what's left of this base uh, placement wise for double bombs, he, he knew sending those hogs in at those defenses, there was going to be no shot of a double bomb. Um, may encounter one here. I'm not 100 percent sure. Nope, he does not. So he cleared all those double bombs um, with. Oh, there's a single, maybe a double next to it, but. He clears out uh, most of those double bomb locations with his clean walk, which is which is huge. And he's got that Tesla farm in the middle. I was a little concerned about that, but he's got tons of Valks. He's got his full life uh, queen and king, and he basically just absolutely wrecked this thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward here, get a little bit of time back in this for the next raid. Smashes that. There's a there's two more bombs, and then there it is. Nice hit, Chobby. Look at this here. This one by Trey. Oops, sorry, that's not the one. Ah, this is the one. Uh, this is a fairly new guy, Math Monster. I guess he just really likes math for some reason. Um, he comes in with a uh, a Gola Loon with some Valks in the kill squad, which I. Which I guess would technically be a Go Gova Laloon, which I have been a huge fan of on my Town Hall 9 account. Um, really gives your kill squad that push. He only uses one golem, so that means he can bring the max hound in the CC for for the air portion of his attack. <clears throat> How comes the CC on this one is just archers? It looks like all archers, maybe a couple wizards, and that could be hard to deal with too sometimes because when you have a lot of troops physically coming out. Um, you know they could spread out if you have a, a multi-layered attack with different things going on. Um, he, he takes care of it pretty well here, and he gets two AD, the AQ, the CC, which is exactly what you want in this type of raid. Um, and as, as the queens get some free buildings there, he starts his La Luna approach here. Um, one hound there, one hound from the left side, um, and notice how he's placing the hounds over defenses that are going to be able to target the hounds the whole time while they're sitting on those ADs and that's important so that your loons go untouched throughout the attack. I mean he's got a, he's got a couple that will eventually get popped uh, towards the tail end of this attack but he gets his other hound in there on the other um, the other AD that's left. His queen's about to go down at the bottom. Misses the ability on the queen which is a little unfortunate because that, that square there with the two cannons, the archer tower and wizard tower would have probably been all taken out by that queen um, and you'll see at the end of the attack here, it doesn't cause a problem, but right now he's got the, the loons coming in, they hit a couple bombs, but that whole compartment would have been taken out, or at least, at least most of that compartment would have been taken out, and his loons would have been able to uh, just start crushing regular buildings because defenses would have been gone, but, I mean, the pathing was, was great um, for this type of attack. It's, it's an anti-2, again, it's 15-15 you know, versus, I think this was like a 10-10 or 10-12 type uh, hero base, but, you know, he absolutely crushes it. Uh, just a new, like I said, new guy to, to power cock, um, showing up good for his first war, and he uh, absolutely crushes it. So that's it, guys. 80 to 55, uh, nice and easy war. We are uh, currently in a war right now with Wrecked City. Um, just give you a little preview of, of what the next recap is going to look like. Uh, two 11s and three 10s on our end. The rest nines all the way to the end, and on their side a little bit of a mismatch, but they got three, three elevens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. But um, we're going to be able to handle these guys pretty easily, I think. Um, most of them are running anti two layouts, which we're going to we're going to absolutely two, maybe even three stars. So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and again, uh, you know, please subscribe. Take care.